Hey friends, I hope you're all doing well. I have a pretty exciting weekend ahead of me. It's Miami Swim Week and I'm attending some events so I thought I would bring you guys along and actually vlog the experience. So my first one is today, my first event, so you're gonna get ready with me. So let's just get into it. So I already did my makeup, very simple, the same thing that I do all the time, not too much because it's hot as fudge, but the first event that I was supposed to attend today was uh, like a panel discussion thing happening at Miami Soho House, my boyfriend has a membership, and we were gonna go, and it was from 9am to 12, and <clears throat> I woke up at 10.30. So that's not happening because it's like an hour away. Need to get ready. Yeah, so I missed that, unfortunately. Like the editor-in-chief of uh, Vogue Mexico is going to be there. And they were going to be talking about like, is Miami like the next fashion hub? I really wanted to go, but whatever. So the vibe that I'm feeling for this, at first I really wanted to, you know, kind of be like very business professional kind of for this panel. I'm a business owner. I don't want to show up anywhere looking like my age <laughs> i didn't want to like be too playful with my outfit but like still because it's like miami swim week like it's not new york fashion week it's just like more colorful it's hot as crap so i really wanted to wear something like this but this is way too playful like it looks like i'm about to go flamenco and i look like a tourist this is not it and then I was going towards like more darker colors, but it's more nighttime. This is like daytime. It's hot as crap. So this is what I ended up coming up with. But wait, because we're going to build on it. It's not done. I went with like my favorite trousers that I literally wear all the time, but they're linen, they're so comfy. I mean, they're pretty tight on the waist, but... So I went with something that, like, I wear a lot. Um, with something that I haven't worn, which is this shirt. That was my grandma's. Cute. I love the print. It's pretty big, though. So we're gonna, like, style it up to make it look more flattering on me. So the first thing I did, I just buttoned, like, this one that's, like, right at the bus point. And I'm not gonna wear a bra with this because I don't really need to. I'm just gonna slap on some um, nipple covers. These good old pieces of ham. And just slap them on and we're good to go because a bra just makes me sweat more. Boom. I'm gonna take the ends of the shirt and I'm gonna take them around the back. Grab them together and then grab a safety pin. Safety pin, okay. And we're gonna just like pin them together, the two ends in the back. This way, the instead of just like tucking in the shirt, um, this just gives it like a different look. This is how it's looking, real cute. And if you wanted to, you could kind of like leave the back just like draping like that. It's kind of cute. I thought of like maybe gathering it like right here. And that could be cute. But honestly, I don't feel like doing that. So you could grab the tail and kind of like tuck it underneath that like into this pocket that like gets formed after you pin the fabric. There's like a little pocket. You could do that, but it kind of looks ugly. So I'm just gonna tuck it into my pants. And then it looks like that. Real cute. And then we're gonna roll up the sleeves. Oh, we are not keeping them all the way down, no, no. Okay, so for accessories, I'm gonna go with like this beaded uh, necklace that I thrifted. I'm gonna do these earrings that were also my grandma's, the same grandma. I cleaned out her closet uh, before I left and I took a bunch of stuff that um, I liked and then also need to like upcycle, alter because they're like too big, which is the video that's coming next with me altering all that stuff. So 
subscribe. And then we're gonna add some bracelets. Thrifted this like arm cuff. These two bracelets were literally my sister's from ages ago. And then I put on some rings. All of these are literally like basically I got like a farmer's market. Yeah, I got them at different farmer's markets. That's the jewelry. Literally, jewelry always elevates a look. Like, always accessorize. It's your best friend. And I usually, I love layering a lot of rings, a lot of bracelets and necklaces. But, like, this doesn't need another necklace. This is, like, chunky enough. Okay, so now we're going to do hair because this, I, I'm going to die with it down. This is how the hair turned out. Two little French braids into a braid. Okay, Daniel, show us your outfit. What's your OOTD? For clothes, for later. Feet up, feelers, pants, and shirt. Striped. Bunk of loners, a little linen shirt. Also, we gotta go like right now. <laughs> we got Brian here. Real Our bitch. We are. This fashion show was actually in collaboration with Instituto Marangoni and Paraiso. Instituto Marangoni is the only four-year fashion design school here in Miami and it's expensive as crap and not worth your money. But anyways, this fashion show was actually a sustainable challenge. Each of the students, there was five students and they each had to make two looks and they got paired with a mentor or like a swimwear brand that is local to Miami and they had to make a design, two designs with their scrap fabrics. The students were competing to get their looks manufactured by one of the brands and the winner was actually the two like white pieces. That one's inspired by like Greek goddess and the idea of being able to wear the looks not just for swimwear but like for everyday wear. And that was actually my favorite look. I'm obsessed with it. I would definitely buy that. But all of them did a really great job. They all looked super cute and were all styled really well. They each had their own inspiration. The first two looks actually was my friend. She, uh, my roommate's girlfriend styled the looks and they were mostly all like kind of inspired by like, different eras but they all did a really great job and it was a really great show After the fashion show, I hung out with my friends and we actually went to this art gallery opening thing and this artist made all of these headpieces and like had a photo shoot with them and they looked really bomb. I'm not exactly sure what the inspiration was but they looked really cool and they had um, a lot of people there and also like a free bar so you, every time there's free alcohol anything in Miami you already know lots of people are gonna be there but um you know your girl took advantage and then basically spent the night hanging with my friends we went to a bar and didn't get home until like 2 30 a.m or something like that and we had to get ready for the next day uh, hi friends it's a new day got another show and i think i want to make myself something it is approximately four o'clock ish and i have many things that i could wear but i want to make myself something that i've been thinking about for a while and it's basically just gonna be like upcycled not really like make from scratch because i don't got time for it but i think i can make this work if we start right now so let's get to it so my idea for what i want to make I had cleaned out my grandma's closet, I think I mentioned that yesterday, <laughs> in Puerto Rico before I left and there's a bunch of things that I need to upcycle and one of them is this skirt. It's like a crinkled kind of skirt and I love it and honestly I would, I love it as a skirt as well. I don't really want it as a skirt I think. I have so many skirts. And I want some more cool pants. So I think I'm going to use the fabric from this. 
And then I have these pants, just like regular black trousers, very like tapered leg. I'm going to combine these two things and make them into like palazzo pants. I thrifted this men's shirt, just like a regular large men's shirt. And I want to also upcycle this and cut off the sleeves because I need more sleeveless things. I have enough long sleeve things. Cut off the sleeves, maybe like taper it in a little bit and just have like an oversized kind of long sleeveless shirt that I could like put a belt with it. So my plan is to seam rip the side of the pants right up until like underneath the pocket where like that little like seam is right there. And then I'm going to cut the skirt into like basically like a triangle um, and like sew the triangle in between the seams so that they kind of become like a palazzo pant. So I'm gonna start by seam ripping. <laughs> Stop! This is the inside of the leg. I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to be doing the side. So I ironed all of the edges flat so that it was easier to work with and now I'm going to measure from the top opening all the way to the hem to see how long it is to then cut out the triangles. For me it is about 29 and a half inches so I'm going to cut this triangle 29 and a half inches because I'm going to leave like the hem that's already done on here and basically like measure from the bottom up and then just cut out big old triangle. Okay, this is the final look. Here are the pants. They look cool. I did it on my phone, now I'm doing it for the vlog. Okay. Close up. Alright, we're running late, so we gotta go. Bye!
Hey friends, it's Monday now. It was a fun weekend, but I am exhausted. So, I wanted to finish this video off because I thought it was perfect timing to mention that I will be attending New York Fashion Week. It'll be my first New York Fashion Week, so I'm very excited and I'm going to be showing my fall 2022 collection. This collection is inspired by like the water scarcity problem that's going on in the world and I want to bring more awareness to that with this collection. I'm going to be doing a lot of fabric manipulation and plant dyeing and of course I'm going to be bringing you guys along the entire process and I'll be sharing it here on YouTube. So subscribe. But I created a GoFundMe for this because I want to really dedicate a lot of time to this collection to really make it perfect and it's really hard to do that plus working to make money to do that and you know it's a struggle out here so i made a gofundme i've never done it before and you know what i just thought you know what worth the shot you never know who's out there and wants to help so yes the link is in the description. I have like more explaining of like the collection and everything. I will be donating um, pro like a percentage from all the garments and everything to some organizations to help the water scarcity problem and pollution and all that. So yeah, I'm really excited. Even if you can't donate, completely understand, but sharing it also goes a really long way. If 5,000 people donated one dollar I would reach the limit <laughs> but also I don't need to reach the five thousand dollar limit but it does help for after I launch the collection to you know hire some help as well so yes I appreciate all of you guys support to everyone that comments and is always sharing all of my videos I love you all stay hydrated have a good day and thank you for watching. Are you zoomed in? Mm -hmm. I can 